What's up guys, welcome back to the channel for another Steam Deck video. Now, we've had a lot of different ways to install and run our Epic Games on the Steam Deck, but I've recently been testing something a little bit different that I really like, and there's a lot of potential here for expansion into more features for Epic and into more launchers and other software and things like that. It's pretty ambitious, and I have been talking to the dev a good bit for a couple of days, and I really like where he's headed with the project. So we're going to get into things here and take a look at this new way to install and run our Epic Games here on the Steam Deck. You are going to need to do this through Decky Loader, which is something that a lot of us with Steam Decks really enjoy using. I enjoy Decky Loader for a lot of different plugins. If you're not already running it, it will be something that you want to get put on your Steam Deck because this is how we get to the store to do what we're going to do here for Epic. I have a full updated guide for Decky Loader and there'll be a link in the description for you if you don't already have it or know how to get it. Now, I'll also have links in the description to the GitHub page for Junk Store, which is what this is called, what we'll be getting into here, uh, focusing on Epic this time in this video. And I also have a link for their Discord. And for the devs Discord, it's a great place to go if you have questions. The biggest thing here is not just supporting this project, but also the amount of testing and just using it and giving feedback, fixing bugs. Uh, it's early days here, and you can see in the support uh, page here which you'll see again later on there's other ways to contact as well to test report issues and so on now you're also going to need uh, proton up qt so because you're going to be able to use different versions of g proton right when you're running epic games uh you usually do have to pick different kinds of layers so i'm using the discovery store here on desktop mode to go in look for proton up qt if you don't already have it or have it installed you're going to want to go ahead and install that and then launch it this is going to allow you to, again, get those different versions of the Proton compatibility layer, which, again, we do have to play with, sometimes even game to game, uh, to see what either works at all or gives the best performance uh, or any of that. So definitely something I want to add here in the video. Uh, if you don't already have this, definitely something you're going to want to have later on. You'll see me uh, showing you where I'm putting these, how I'm using this later on in the video. But this is something to preemptively do and have ready if you don't already for Proton Up QT. All right, let's get on with it and get into more of the video. All right, so as far as getting this, we have Decky Loader on our Steam Deck here already. I'm gonna hit my quick access button, go to Decky. And again, if you don't have this, I have a full guide, a link in the description for you to go check out the new Decky Loader guide. Now, I already have Junk Store on here, but for you, you'll need to install it. But also, you're gonna to need to be on the update channel pre-release for Decky Loader, and you're also gonna to need to be using the testing store channel as well for this to work. And I've been on stable and beta OS for Steam and have had this basically work pretty well and the same for me, so I don't think that'll matter, but you never know with these kind of things, especially being early days for this junk store and epic store add-on here. Now, once we have that all set up, you'll be able to go into the testing store. So when you go in here, you'll see all the additional apps you wouldn't see in a regular store. We'll go down the junk store. We'll be able to click on install. And if you're not familiar, these are really quick installs for these add-ons for Decky Loader and tend to work really well. So we do a quick install there. And then it's going to show up in our list of add-ons that we've added here. So if I click on junk store, you'll see we have a games tab and an about tab. This is pretty simple. In the Games tab, this is where we'll be doing our login, and all of our Epic Games from our library will show up to install. If we go down to About, we'll have Custom Backend here, which you can take a look at if there's other things you want to get into. There's lots of potential with this app. Dependencies, which we'll come back to. Support, which we were talking about, supporting this project and getting a hold of them if you need to. And Dependencies. This is a place you do need to come to and install these dependencies so that everything else will work. Your games typically won't launch, or this... Uh, junk store will have problems. You just need to go in here. I already did mine, so it's pretty quick, but overall it doesn't take very long anyway. You need to go ahead and get this done as well. And there are tabs on the bottom for installing Proton, Easy Anti-Cheat, and Battle Eye Runtime. Uh, if you don't already have those on your deck, you probably do, but if you don't, you're able to just click there and grab those as well. For certain games, you may be running on the Epic Game Store. So now we're back in the Games tab part and we're going to log in. So I'll click Log In here. It's going to open up a separate little tab here, and it's going to go into Log In to the account. And I didn't have any problems with this. I just logged in with my typical email and password here. They sent me the verification code uh, for two-factor to my phone. Got logged right in. Only took a minute or so, and we were good to go. And then now at the games page, all of my Epic library uh, loads in here, and I'm able to start installing and trying games. Now, as you know, on the Steam Deck, it can be hit and miss as to what games really do and don't work on Epic. And depending on Proton compatibility layers you're using and all that, 
Fortnite, definitely, guys. No Steam OS, okay? You're just not getting on Steam OS. But there are a lot of games here that do work well. And I've tested a lot of Epic games here on Deck 2. Now, there are some settings here in the games as well. Refresh game list and all that. But more importantly, over here at the gear icon, you have some other options in here. And all the way at the bottom, you have install location. So if you want to install these games onto a micro SD card, which I have tried and it worked just fine, uh, you're able to do that right here. Pretty quick and easy to change your install location, which I like seeing in there as well. All right, so we'll go back here. And you're going to get this Epic Games login that stays on your system. It's just part of the junk store, part of what makes this work. Don't delete it or get rid of it. You could change the artwork work like I did to make it look different. You're not going to use it for anything. Or you could simply hit start and then hide it as well. But don't get rid of it and leave it on your Steam Deck. It doesn't do anything if you try to play it just there as part of the log, part of the, the sauce that's making this work for now. Uh, as far as installing our games, we'll go back into our Games tab here. We can go right over to Install Game, click that, and it'll start its process now for installing uh, the game here. Now while that's happening I do want to go and take a look at some of these other settings we have because there's a lot of other little like features and stuff that you can jump into here. So we'll go over here and you've got the run exe, reset launch options, uninstall, update, download saves which currently for me none of my saves have showed up at least I don't think so and in talking to the dev that's not necessarily cloud saves aren't necessarily working right now but hopefully we'll get to that point. And then over here in Proton Config, you have all these things for your anti-cheat, BattleEye, other engines, Vulcan 3D, Proton, frame rate capping, just different tools and stuff that you can mess around with if you need to try to get games working better or working at all. There's like a little bit of stuff you can get into and get a little bit deeper there. But I've got three games installed right now that I wanted to be able to try out. Control, Keenan Bridge of Spirits, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. And all three of these worked just fine. I'm going to be, of course, trying a lot more games, but these are the first three I happen to download. Now, every time you download a game, at least right now, you need to go into Properties, Compatibility, and change your GE Proton layer. I've had to use Proton 9, 32, and 49, depending on games, for these three right now. Proton 9-2 seems to be working fine, but its default after it installs the games just isn't really working right now for those. Hopefully that will get changed, but for all three of these games, I've went ahead and gone in and preemptively changed the properties, the compatibility, to the GE Proton, which was the Proton Up QT guide I showed you earlier in the video. But yeah, for these three games, I did go ahead and jump into them and didn't have any problems. I played each game for about an hour, no crashes, and performance was very akin to what I would expect to see here uh, as well. And what I like is this just adds those to your Steam library there. So as you can see, once you install these games from Junk Store, you don't need to go back. Uh, they're just in your library. You can click on them. Once you have your compatibility layer ready to go, and you can just always just get right into your games there. And I find that to be super uh, interesting, super useful here. I like how it automatically works that way. And again, game performance, just jumping in at these things. These three games are games I've tested a good bit on Epic and on the Steam Deck. And yeah, like I said, their performance was pretty much akin to what I would be used to seeing. Uh, frame times are pretty good. Not having to necessarily go into the Epic app, like open the launcher ahead of time, have that going in the background the way that it normally would, seems to kind of help as well. It makes some of the games, in my opinion anyway, I think feel a little bit better. Though there's some comparisons I would like to do uh, with this me method and other methods as well that I think would be interesting. A little bit of Keenan Bridge of Spirits as well, which um, another game that can run fairly decent on the deck for the most part, uh, 30 to 50 FPS typically. And uh, yeah, like I said, I messed around for about an hour for each game here. I definitely want to uh, get into testing some more games and uh, I want to try out like Fallout Guys, uh, Bioshock, uh, Borderlands 3, did I say Fallout Guys? Fall Guys and Fallout. <laughs> Um, but yeah, a lot of stuff here I want to get into and see what's working. Uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider was another one that performed well. This game runs really well either way, anyway, through Steam or through Epic. Uh, and I wanted to try it out uh, as well and didn't have any problems uh, with this either. So yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to testing out a lot more with this. I see a lot of potential with this junk store, with this Epic, um, with more launchers, other software, things people are going to be able to contribute. Um, hopefully people will find this interesting enough to kind of give it a shot, start testing it out, find little bugs and quirks, get them reported, um, go to the Discord, uh, you know, chat with the dev if you have any problems, get some help, uh, offer, you know, information as to what your experience is if you try this and stuff like that. Just anything to kind of help, I think, just make this even better and get it to grow because I actually do think there's a lot of interesting potential here for something like this on the deck. All right, guys, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. Hopefully you got something out of it. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.